Hey, what's up guys, Meg Brown here. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a curtain using Blender. So shift A and add a plane, rotate it on X axis by 90 and scale it on Z axis. Now on edit mode, right click and subdivide so divide it by 30. Now go to top view and select some, some vertex like this. Now go to data property and create a new vertex group. I will name it MB and assign it. Now go back to object mode and go to shape K, create a new one and a new other one. Now on the timeline, go to zero. Now make a keyframe animation on value. Now let's move on something like 20 and let's go back to edit mode now take the proportional tool and let's go to front view scale it on x axis now scroll the middle mouse button to create this shape now let's go back to object mode now let's put this value all the way up to one and make a keyframe. Now let's add a cloth simulation. Let's scroll down all the way down to shape and select our vertex group created. Now when you press play button, we have that. Now pause your simulation. Now go to, to object data property now apply the shape k now go back to modify property and apply your cloth simulation now right click to shade smooth it you can also add a subdivisional surface to give it a little bit of thickness and let's also apply a subdivisional surface now apply the solidify modify and we have we have our curtain now let's go to to edit mode now to select the the vertex the the edge like this now alt left click and shift alt left click let's press ctrl e and add a seam now let's go to uv editor now press A to select all and press U, now choose on wrap. Now on image, open the open your image gesture. Link will be in the description. Now let's put a material. Now go to base color and choose image texture. And let's choose our our image texture. Let's go to render. Now A to select all and scale it. I will go with something like that. That is looking okay for me. Now let's go to shader editor. Let's first go back to layout and open another split like that. Let's go to render view on this one. And this one, let's go to shader editor. Let's take our image texture and put it into roughness. Maybe we can add, let's add color ramp right here let's change it like this so that we will have a little bit of roughness now let's also take this color and put it into height height of the bump now let's take this bump and put it into normal now let's decrease the strength 
I think that is looking okay for me. And that's it guys. That is very, very simple. Here is a funnel, funnel material. And here is our funnel content. If you want it, finally, you can duplicate it on X and, and we have it very easy. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.